Hey guys, welcome back to the Angsty Banker. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. We are gonna make Harry Potter butterbeer cupcakes. But the thing that's different, because you know, cupcakes are kind of my thing, is I don't have a plan. I am gonna go into the grocery store and I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. I don't know if I wanna put butterscotch in it and call it like a butterscotch with cream soda. I don't know if I want the top to be butterscotch or the cupcake, or if I want it all just to be cream soda. I, I have no idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and whatever kitchens are fancy is what we're gonna do. Tony the Bone, Tony the Bones is here with me. Um, hi, also, oh God, there's people everywhere in the parking lot. Um, and I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to public attention. So Tony's coming in my backpack. You know, some people have a security blanket. I have a security skeleton. <laughs> just kidding, that's a lie. Um, he's just gonna come with me because he's my travel buddy and uh, he's flexible enough to fit in my little little black backpack. Okay Hi, I Should just stop waving. Okay, we're going in bye. We survived the supermarket um, I didn't record because there was a lot of people there and yes your girl had her mask My mama made this shout out to my mama um, So I was wearing that everyone was a uh, fully clothed if you will it was great um, let me show you what I got. So, I came to a conclusion. I think I know what I'm gonna do. It'll probably change halfway through, but let me show you. So I got a new mixing bowl. It's red, it matches the rest of my decor. All of my furniture is black with red accents. So, it was perfect, it was like two bucks, and I was like, you know what, I need a new one anyway. Got that. Um, I decided for the cupcake that I'm gonna do both the butterscotch and the cream soda. I went with some IBC. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that in our regular vanilla cake mix. If it stands up, why is it soggy? Oh my God, okay. Well, we're gonna put that in our regular cake mix and then we'll account for the extra powder with cream soda. This cream soda, since it's carbonated, it's gonna help the cupcakes get light and fluffy. I don't really like working with vanilla, I'm gonna be honest, it's my least favorite flavor, but that's okay, we're gonna make it fun. And then to top it, we're gonna whip our own whipped cream a lot more fun that way super easy you just add some sugar and I'm also gonna add some butterscotch so I won't put all of this in the cupcakes I'll add some of that to flavor the top and yeah sprinkle on some cinnamon and we're gonna just figure it out as we go and there you do well Kylie's here Hello. she is back by popular demand yesterday <laughs> oh no someone was uh, she was meeting one of my friends Tristan and Hi, Tristan. Hi, Tristan he's single <laughs> I'll, I'll include his link down below. He's gonna hate that. Um, anyway, and he's like, oh, I recognize you from Taylor's Snap Stories. And so she had to be in it today. Like that's, it's a, she's a staple. I'm a staple. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna pop some monsters. We're gonna crack a cold one with the girls. And we're gonna make some cupcakes. So, ready? I'm ready. First things first, we gotta crack a cold one. Um, I've already had a double dirty chai, which is a chai with two shots of espresso, but let's keep this ball rolling, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I already pre-measured everything because I'm a poor college student and all my measuring cups are broken and I didn't want you to see it because it's kind of embarrassing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add everything all together. I'm tweaking my recipe, so I will post whatever the final amounts are in the description box below. Feel free to look. Um, but I don't have any vanilla extract, so instead of making a vanilla cake, I'm just gonna do cinnamon, honey, butterscotch, and cream soda, and we're just gonna call it nye, and that's gonna be the name of this cake, so. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So my oven's already preheated, that's good to go. I'm gonna add my regular flour, regular sugar. I didn't want you to see me struggle opening a pudding package, so this is the butterscotch pudding mix some baking powder that I didn't really measure. We're gonna throw in some cinnamon too. We're just gonna go like, mm, like tan. A hefty pinch of salt. Do you like that much? And then I'm gonna dry whisk this all together before I add my wet ingredients. I'm gonna add my butter. My cream soda. Oh, that made me feel really powerful. I didn't think I was gonna open it. 
Remember when we talked about baking powder and being activated? Yeah. If Shit. not, check out my uh, my cupcake video because I do a whole thing on it. I think it was that one. If not, just watch them all. And then I have some almond milk here. Two eggs. Doesn't have to be almond milk, by the way. You can use whatever milk you want. Shoot, use goat's milk. I don't care. And then I'm just going to do like a quick Z of honey. So, do, 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 Zoro who? And that's all going to be blended together for three minutes on high. So I fully sent it with that cream soda bottle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two heaping tablespoons of flour, just cause this consistency is pretty liquidy. And like I said, this isn't my favorite cake kind to work with. Any sort of vanilla cake without that chocolatey texture, I'm just, I'm not a fan of it being really liquidy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that on there. I like a, a thick cake, you know? Thick boy with extra C's, all the C's. No K's though. So we're going to mix that up and I'll show you what the right consistency, consistency should be. So in total I added an extra half cup of flour just so I could get a thicker consistency here. Um, I will adjust that so it's going to be three total cups of flour if you do a whole can or bottle of cream soda. Now if you look at my mixture you might be like, Taylor, why the heck is it so buttery and chunky? And you know what? We love all kinds of cake mixes. And it's a butter beer recipe. So if you don't want chunks of butter, don't be like me and leave it in the freezer until two minutes before you're gonna make it because it's just not gonna work. But, you know what's gonna taste good? I already uh, put my fingies in there, so mm, I like it. All right, we are ready to scoop our batter. Scoop it up. I got these cute gold aluminum foil ones. Gonna be honest, this from Walmart. It's like 99 cents. I was really happy about it. So my oven's been preheated at 350 for a while. I'm gonna scoop up these bad boys about two thirds full and then we'll do the little tappy tap and they'll bake for about, I'm gonna start with 20 minutes cause I don't know my oven well enough yet, but I'll let you know how long it was afterward. Hi, welcome to the top of my fridge. This is actually where Tony the Bones Macaroni and Freya live. This is Vexter. He's glass and he holds my monster tabs because if you turn in so many monster tabs, you can get a snowboard. So, your girl's been saving up. I got a stacks on stacks. Anyway, this is where they live when I'm not bringing them to the grocery store or someone's random apartment. But yeah, they're just, they're all BFFs. Taylor, one of your fans is wondering, who's that babe on the fridge? This is, um, <laughs> this is Carl, and this is Winifred the deer. Huh, cool. <laughs> and that's my sister. Yeah. The only thing, I like a clean fridge. She's, that's all, that's all that I'll have on there is that girl right there. You're calling me clean? Yeah. Welcome to the part of the show where we're in the sister corner. Kylie, are you ready for a conversation? I am ready. Join me while I ladle my batter. So let's talk about Harry Potter. Harry let's Potter. talk about Harry Potter. Let's talk about Wands, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about our Patronus and our houses. We may be. Let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Taylor, what house are you? I'm a Slytherin. Um, of course you are. I know, and here's the thing. For this video, my friend Dan, shout out to Dan, he has, I think it's a ball python. And I was like, hey, can I borrow your pet snake and then have it like crawling through the cupcakes? And he was like, I'm in for that, but he's working until really late. So I wanted to eat these before that. Kylie, what house are you? I'm Gryffindor. Not so. 
surprise. Lame! We're very, very opposite. Well, you're also wearing a white, beautiful shirt, and I'm wearing a terry cloth, black jumpsuit. Hey, what's your Patronus? Heron. <laughs> Heron Potter. <laughs> what's yours? I'm a bloodhound. <laughs> what is a heron? What's the sound of a heron? I feel like they're more of a honker. <laughs> I have no idea. I just spit everywhere, sorry. Um, do you know your wand? <laughs> Elder wand. Yeah, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm like dogwood with a phoenix feather, 13 inch supple flexibility. I just looked that up on the Pottermore quiz because I couldn't remember. My arm is hurting. I think my wand is like a unicorn horn just broken off. Probably. I'd probably be like a dragon toenail. <laughs> cute. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, uh, comment down below what house you are or would like to be. Um, <laughs> Sorry I'm about my finger. I have to read. Singles. Um, yeah, so that's that's us in a nutshell. Comment below your house, what wand you have, or your Patronus. <laughs> if you're not sure, go to the Wizarding World whatever website. Pottermore. Yo-Yo Cupcake Eaters. <laughs> the Chase Master. It's me. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick update. I figured out my wand. It's a Willow Wood, which Willow is almost our sister Taylor's name. Willow wood with a phoenix feather core, 12 and 1 4th inches. Wow. And quite bendy. Also, very flexible. Do you want to know a cute little connection I just made? Sure. We have the same core of our wand, and we might be different, but deep down, but we're both phoenixes. And your wand is longer, which makes sense because you're taller. Is no. your wand flexible? Size, size of your wand doesn't matter. It's how you use it. <laughs> the look on your, you're so done. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, our cupcakes are done. I baked them for 20 minutes flat, um, and that was perfect for my oven. It might be different for yours. But now what we're going to do is we're going to make our filling, which is also our topping. So we're going to make homemade whipped cream, which is just heavy whipping cream. I'm adding in butterscotch flavoring instead of vanilla flavoring, and then two tablespoons of sugar for each cup of milk you use. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush down the insides like I do when I fill my cupcakes. Just use the back of a chopstick and go And then we'll fill that with whipped cream and top it and then we'll sprinkle it. We're done. Alright, so super easy. We're just going to dump in a cup of heavy whipped cream. And then <laughs> I did like a, I don't know, I just set aside a small amount. I'd say it was probably like a tablespoon and a half of that butterscotch. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of sugar. And we're just gonna whip it for three to four minutes, scraping the sides occasionally. Okay, so it's done when it forms stiff peaks or you can turn it upside down. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test it, make sure it has the right flavor. These aren't going to anyone in particular. I usually don't just shove my whole hand in batter or whipped cream, or maybe I do and I just don't tell anyone. But yeah, we'll see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm, okay, that's, I'd highly recommend putting pudding mix in your homemade whipped cream. It's divine. I wish I would've saved out more to add. I do have some, but that's gonna be for my second pass that I make. It's gonna be the same exact thing. Cup of whipped cream, two tablespoons sugar, and then I'd say like about a tablespoon of butterscotch pudding or to taste. Um, it's good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna top them, fill them, do the whole process. I'll show ya. I use the back of a chopstick. And what I'm gonna do is I just push it down. I don't core mine. And I make a nice little bed. I don't go all the way to the bottom. Um, because I don't want it to touch the wrapper. And these have already cooled, so they're not hot to work with. They've had time already to cool. And then I'm just gonna use a knife, take some of this whipped cream, Ooh. put it so it's like right above the hole, and then I drop mine down just to make sure it gets all the way to the bottom. And then, 
add a little bit on top until it looks nice and pretty. That's that. For these, I am going to top them with a little bit of cinnamon. Put that up here. And it's kind of old, that's all right. And that's it. Now they're done. And we'll taste them in the next clip. We're done. So, I haven't tasted it yet. Kylie hasn't tasted it yet. So it's about that time we crack a cold one of cream soda. <laughs> We're gonna take a sip of that. <laughs> Amazing. Did you hear that noise? <laughs> I did. It was so bubbly. Cream soda is an underrated soda for sure. Let's see. My test taster can't even test taste anymore, Kai. Yeah. That's you. That's me. We're gonna I... just go for it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think of a spell. I'm trying to make one up. The Guardian Leviosa. I like it. I hope you like it too. Out of how many octopuses would you rate it? Out of ten. I'd give it um six octopus legs out of eight. Because okay. I think I could do better. I know I can do better. Would you change something in your recipe? You know, ideally, I would have liked to do like real beer with butter and butterscotch and cream soda. Um, but I don't work a lot with beer and it's not like a yeasty kind of cake, so I wasn't really sure what to do. But maybe I'll make a video on that, different kinds of beers and different kinds of baked goods. But ideally, I think that would have been really tasty. But cheers to, uh, Messy fingers, because that's on camera, uh, to butterbeer, and to really bad Cockney accents that we tried to use while making this. I'll include a clip. It was oof, oof. oof. Anyway, if you think of something else you'd like me to do, uh, comment down below. You can hit a subscribe button if you want to. I was so surprised to see 30 subscribers. I wasn't expecting any. I was thinking five. Like Kylie being one of them. <laughs> yeah. And this is just, like, it's just fun. So thanks for watching and taking the time out of your day for Kylie and I to do some shenaniganry. And until next time, bye friends. Bye. Oi. <coughs> what are we making? We're making cupcakes. What kind? Oh, no. Well, Harry Potter. Harry Potter butter beer. But, but Harry Potter butter beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. Harry Potter cupcakes. They gonna be lit. Oof. <laughs>